Hello, this is Mark Haynes with another Trout Legend Fly Tying video. Today we are tying for you the Squirmy 2.0, also known as the Squirmy or Wormy, stuff like that. You all know it well. It's really a comp standby and really one of the top junk flies out there. Material we're using is the Trout Legend Squirmy Worm 2.0 material. This stuff's really good stuff. The color I'll be using today is kind of a fire orange. You can see it here. In the vise, I have Trout Legend C, Czech Caddis, Marbos Hook, size 10. Great sticky hook, really holds fish well. For the bead, we have orange, it's a metallic orange. Another neat color, really sets off well with the different colors of these worms. So I'm going to take this worm material. What I like to do here, as you see this, I will actually fold the material in half. And after one length, one of these lengths, let me see here, cut it in half, and I get two worms out of each one. I like a little longer, but these aren't super long. Really gives a good, good size. So I'm gonna set that off the side. Our thread we're using today is Hens Effect Thread in orange. They call it their VP26, is their number designation. So start your thread. This is a flat thread. And being flat, it does not cut through this squirmy material. Now, the 2.0 material is sturdier than a lot of the other stuff you will find out there. It doesn't cut through as easy as some of the original generations and some of the other, other company stuff you see out there. So that is one good thing about it. It does handle a little more abuse from the fish as well as makes it a little sturdier when you're tying. So hold that on there. To figure out how much I want, I want the same out the back as I do out the front. I'm just going to switch this around. I'd rather have that curl in the back of the hook. I'm gonna, once I get it where I want, I'm gonna hold that. I got my thread just a little, little around the bend of the hook. I'm going to do a pinch wrap for the first one to hold that down. And then one, two. You got to kind of be careful. It does take some getting used to working with this material. But once you get it, it's really not that bad. Now you put some thread wraps and bring that thread back up to the front. The next part we're going to do is we're going to take this loose end here and we're going to wrap it around towards the front of the hook. The first wrap I'm going to wrap around, I'm actually going to push it back over top of near the back tail and then put the next loop on there. Otherwise, this material has a tendency to want to slide forward. So this kind of prevents that and keeps it so we're filling the material with fly and covering up those thread wraps the best we can. Once you get to the front, you're going to hold your material up to the front and lower your first thread wrap over, which is light one, two, three, Four. I don't like to use too many thread wraps with this stuff. I want it just enough to hold it. Too many, it does tend to kind of bind and we'll cut through. After we have that where we want, we put, bring it up, thread right behind the bead. Put a half hitch in here. Get your whip finish tool, or if you want to do your hand whip finish, whatever you do. I'm more of a tool type guy. Two, three. I'll do a couple of these just to make sure it's good and secure. Three or four, uh, two. And once you get that in there, cut your thread back. You can kind of play around with these if you want. They're gonna move around a lot in the water. That's um, that's what you got. That's our squirmy wormy 2.0. See, we got a lot of different colors of this in this kit that we sell for $24.95. You're gonna get all of these different colors: and tan. The orange was already tying some of these. The red I like to use, and also this yellow. You get the hooks, you get the beads, you get the thread, you get everything you need to get started on tying this fly. So head over to the Trout Legend store and get yourself a kit and get started tying these up.